You're now watching Two Old Farts Making Noises. <laughs> we are live. Hello, live. I'm just, get, just getting into the groove here. Live and alive. To, no, live, to, no, we're live and alive. To, David's getting into the groove. David took, yeah, his, well, took I, his. He took his meds today, so he's good. No, no, no. So, no I just just talked to the doctor. And I'm okay, so that's why. So you're I'm gonna okay, you're so. gonna live. Keep this way. Well, yeah. Well, well, this afternoon anyway. I don't know what happens. Okay. Tomorrow. But whether or not I should wake up tomorrow. What's morning? your plan? You have a big right. plan. And, and listen, just so, just so, just so, just so we're clear, dying on our show, bad form. I'm just letting you know. No, no, Stephen, because it, it will be all over the internet, mate. People will be making sure. That's true. Of it. Oh, and then it'll have sure. And uh, we we'll take off. <laughs> all right. Well, then you know. Listen, it, take take one for the team, and uh, there you yeah. go. <laughs> Yeah, so I guarantee success. We will, you know, the people will be replaying that. They'll have it as a, a meme on their phones and like the whole shebang. So, oh, that'd yeah. be awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy talk, but we like yeah. it. Yes. All right. So oh, let's get going. We're, what do we got going on today? Adam, we're with Adam. Adam, Adam we're yes. all going to die someday, are we not? Because you're the death expert. Uh, Am I gonna... Yes and no. <laughs> that's my answer. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. That's the, there we go. That's the way this... You that's are gonna die, the you're not. And that's to be honest, show. you're gonna be dying forever. <laughs> I mean, that's time true. One, one after another. But it's, here's it's, the cool thing: because of this, you live forever. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, we're we're immortals now. Yeah, yeah. but you know, it's 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 like it's, it's like a game, true. right? Like each time when you log no. on to a game, you have a different uh, name and you no, different right. face and different al uh, alter, you know. You, Adam, have made me immortal because I'm on a show with you. So you and Stephen and myself. No, not me. Not me. Stephen. There is no me. Oh. There is no you. There is no Stephen. It's so. It's it's us. One thing. Oh. It's, yeah. All right. We are is the this, same thing. It, this really is. The we'll be talking thing about this also about. because I read something, besides many things that we'll talk about. And today we're gonna see new stuff, new works also. Yeah, yeah. So I'm working, very excited about I'm that. Really, yeah, yeah, I'm excited too because if, uh, we, don't, if we don't all die before then, okay. we have all, all we die, we're dying every moment, and yeah. we're we're already dead, David. We're, yeah, we're <laughs> we're born again all the time. Yeah, and uh, I I watched a yeah. film by the way that was called The Last Duel. It was a medieval film right. uh, that. Um, uh, who was playing the the, the, the guys who, who did uh, uh, I forget the names. Anyway, it was a very oh, nice movie. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Sorry. It it wasn't it wasn't so uh, so uh, popular. Right. Uh, but from Rid Ridley Scott. Okay. We know him. Like he's eighty five. Oh, oh, right. that, yeah, he's already that, making saw... great movies. Yeah. The last I, saw, was, I saw the promo for that. That looked really good, but but it didn't take off at all. It was really nice. Movie. It was really nice film. But I, I just uh, recalled it because we were talking about death, and uh, they were talking about uh, uh, the women uh, women orgasm, and they were they were calling at the time little death, and I think this uh, is historically <laughs> accurate. So yeah. the, 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 the priests were asking the girls, you know, the noble girl, that uh, do you have uh, with your husband uh, little deaths? Oh, I think I have. <laughs> you know, but uh, so um, that's what they say, that uh, orgasm is, is kind of a death. I know I've been with many yeah. women that yeah. wish they were dead after they had one with me. So, yes, so I can see but that. The, yeah. So the, have, the, the have question is... <laughs> The question is then, for whom for whom is the death? For everybody who experiences uh, orgasm, it's, it happens also to, uh, to men. For example, for me, I will be honest. For me, after uh, orgasm, uh, the five minutes after orgasm, I'm really, really. Uh, I, I, it's the only time I feel free. Oh wow! Yeah, so I just she, she lay down and I don't need she, anything, anything, nothing. Did she release you after then, or take all the bondage straps off and? 
and I'm five know. years. It's, you know. it's 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 also uh, it's thing with the body. It's also thing with the mind, yeah. with your psyche. I, I don't know. It's 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 a mixture of things. That's oh, probably you do, little, you do realize you do realize that most women think that five minutes after a man has had an orgasm that they're just going to go to sleep. So you're quite remarkable that you just you know you're still awake five minutes after. Yeah, I'm awake more than five minutes. <laughs> to be honest, I, I see. I I think sex and orgasm is overrated for the women because I'm a generous lover. I think the woman should have the orgasm first, unless they're a pain in the ass. And I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I just need to come, and I'm good. I need to have my scotch and cigar. Perfect. So I'm okay with that. But no, it, it's, you know, I don't know if I call it a mini death. It depends on the girls. Some girls have orgasms that the whole neighborhood hears and they shake and they tremble and it's a thing. Yeah. And other girls have an orgasm where they it's, drop their it's not. Pile. It's not on the girl. It's It depends on the couple, actually, because they're both doing jobs. It's never that the girl alone. Okay, That's alone. What I'm doing. I'm well, doing sorry? The words you, that I will you show. Have, the words you that have I will to show. do something? You have to do something? <laughs> yeah, you actually have to be there. You have to be in the same room, David. <laughs> so I thought I just had to. They said to me when I was going to just lie back and think of England. You know, and I've been doing that for years. <laughs> I've been doing that for years. I mean, uh, hey, come on, guys. Effort? That's What's all great. that about? Hey. So the works we're going to see today. I'm just yeah, let's see the works because they are the related. They're, they're related to to what orgasm. we're talking to about death. because to death, well, uh, about eroticism in a way, uh, okay. because uh, it's 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 a kind of uh, I'm following some uh, a series that actually right. is not a series that I, I do one after another. I do one piece uh, in a year or two years, you know, and another. So it's it, it was a series in time. But now I'm going to be more uh, specific with it in time. So I'm going to do some things, uh, some some works that will follow. And it's called The Erotic Void. Ooh. So we have The oh, Erotic I, Void I 5 and 6 that. here okay. today. Uh, the Erotic Void also is behind me, which we'll talk later because this is a physical uh, piece. But we will see the digital because the physical is based on the uh, digital. Wow, that is that is gorgeous, my friend. Yeah, but this one, this is this is something else. This is our uh, well, image. Yeah, yeah, we have to go back, try right back to the beginning for this one. Okay, we so ran we'll it through before we came on. Later. So yeah, this is this is the the, the first one, okay. and uh, this is this is called. Let me, because I don't always remember the names. The game of the one with itself. Oh wow! And uh, it's the erotic void six, and it's actually referring about must uh, masturbation. If okay. you look closely, uh, the girl is, uh, you know, you can see the hand. Ah, I see. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I will talk a little about this uh, technique uh, a little because. Yeah. Uh, can, as, can you tell us how it's made, Adam? Because that's what I'm always fascinated to know. Yeah, yeah it's it's made like always in the 3D in my my programs, and yeah. uh, but it's it's following now. Um, I've been talking before about uh, refraction and transparency in mediums that I like, like models, like humans that I've used, mm. but I've used them more uh, in a way of uh, uh, caustic you remember the light that goes and makes the envelopes but and uh, the model is uh, turned off we don't see the model we see only the right. refractions from the caustics but here we can see the model but the model has got a medium a, a material uh, uh, onto it uh, like a glass or a water it, 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 a, a material that is transparent and the transparent material can actually show, you know, uh, what's behind or, or around. It depends yeah. on one uh, property, on one setting that's called IOR. It's called index of refraction because actually it's, refract it's refracting the environment. So it's mm -hmm. the better uh, term for it is refractions. So I don't know. I'm going to create another s uh, series, I think, also that will be called maybe bodies of refractions. And depending on this number, the IOR, uh, the refractions that you see, you can see that there are lines around her. Right. And uh, on her, the, the, the lines, they wrap and they create like different kind of uh, structure. 
And uh, there are other things that you cannot see on the image as a background, but there are elsewhere. But on the model, you can see them because it's refracting this way. And it has a big number of refraction. For example, just for the number, I'll tell you that uh, the, the slower the number, uh, the less refra refraction happens. That means that um, uh, it's more, it's more see-through. It's like if you if you put your hand uh, behind the glass, because the glass is thick, it's it's not very thick, it's very thin. You see the same thing like like you would. But if you take a a, a, bo a box uh, of glass and you put your hand, you will see different stuff. Or if you take a sphere, you will see that it, you will first of all you will turn the image upside down because that's mm -hmm. the nature of the sphere because it curves uh, the, uh, the, the the what you see. Uh, where also happens this? It happens with the black uh, black uh, holes. It mm. curves the environment, the uh, space time. So we can see sometimes if it's very heavy object, very heavy. Uh, we see it with uh, galaxies or a cluster of galaxies. We can see what's behind them, uh, which is it, it's curving the space time. So so it's it allows the the light to go around like this. Anyway, mm. so coming back to those. Um, I really like those this style, and I'm going to keep on this because it's also uh, very, you know, um, aligned to my uh, philosophy. Because we sometimes we say that oh, we are the reflections of the others. Well, if if, we, if you talk about reflection as a visual property, we're not reflections because what we reflect is the opposite all, all, all the time. We are refractions of the others and refractions of the environment. The refraction here, the transparency, but with refraction, acts like a filter. So we are filters, actually, each one of us. I mean, the humans, but I mean, every living uh, organism, depending on the activity that it can, it has developed through the years, through the thousand millions of years of uh, evolution, can, uh, can, can create. So I think that refraction is more suitable as a as a visual context for uh, describing what we, what we actually are and now you can see here on this image that she's refracting the environment it's there's nothing on her actually besides the model and the transparent uh, material and the, right. the, the 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 higher the number of of uh, refraction so the, the filter is the refraction the number of refraction so what changes in us i believe so, so to put it schematically and uh, me as a metaphor, of course, uh, is that uh, we have a different uh, level of number. We have a different number of refraction. So we refract the environment and the others in a different way. That's why we are different. We are different characters. We, And uh, what makes the number change? Our, our life, our, our ha what happens in our life. And the impact of what ha what's happening to our personalities and, and characters, and this changes the number. So, right. this is the, the the second one. This is um, uh, this is called uh, the subjective desire of necessity, and it's the erotic void five. It's the they have like two names, but it's it's one name actually. They belong to the erotic void uh, series, but it's number mm -hmm. four five. And the one before was uh, number uh, six. And uh, we, we can see here the, the, the couple here. And it's, it's, it, we can see the eroticism also with the colors, but also with, uh, with the position of the bodies. Uh, I created also a video for this, uh, which I haven't posted anywhere. I will post probably tomorrow. So we are today. We are we are seeing things that uh, I've never. I didn't post even on my Facebook or no Insta or no world premiere. So we are yes, it's a premiere. Did and, you want to run the? Nice. Uh, did you want to run the clip, or do you want to do this after you've we've been through your slideshow? No, no, you can you can run because it's, it's the because I, I I when I do those because I work on three D. I also think uh, during the the the, the static uh, creation of the image. Um, I'm also thinking about the the, the movie, uh, how how I can put um, okay. you know motion to the to the image, uh, so that it has well, it, it's interesting and it's got to do with what what I'm trying to say here. Yes. Okay. Well, it's a short clip, so we're going to run it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show the clips. Here we go. Here.
Very cool. Yeah, and you can see here what I mean, that when, when the lines behind them are moving, look how beautiful they are uh, onto, they're, they are uh, projected on, on the bodies. Yeah. And, and you can see how the body and how the form is uh, formulated through this uh, uh, property. And the I, 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 must it, actually. I must admit, it may be because I'm colorblind, I think, but I, I have a great deal of difficulty in, it just looks like, I was going to sound awful, it just looks like a lump of brown. So you, you, are, you, look, you are color colorblind, and I am I am partly colorblind too. Yeah, but when I just when you ran the clip, then oh, then I could, immediately, of course, you saw the bodies as it as it turned around. But I struggled with this one when I looked at it. I, I, now I can well, see it because you look, told look, me what it is. It's not a problem. It's not a. It is a problem. Okay. Anyway, because it's nice to see yeah, color. But, but you're totally colorblind. You are black and white. You see, uh, black and white. Uh, grays. You see grays. Or, yeah. or you have uh, col your color band on reds and um, gr greens. Yeah, or, there are also other because, forms. Yeah, because it, now, now I can see it because you told me what it was. But when you when I first first flipped through to slide number two for me, that uh, I struggled with it. Um, but uh, I, I don't with struggle one, with your with art. But yeah, I didn't. I don't struggle with your art. I struggled to see the two bodies. But now, of course, I've seen them moving, and all I could see now is the two bodies. So, you yeah, know, yeah, the movie helps what, what, you to understand the yeah. bodies. That's that's what, that's, what your brain why, does to you. Yeah, yeah, and this is what I'm trying to do because I, I, what I was saying before about the filter that we are the filters uh, as refractions. It's you can see what's going on through this exactly through this. Uh, refractions of our minds, of our uh, projections of, of reality that, that we see, and we are trying to um, uh, transmit and share with others. And uh, we are like walking bodies like that, transparent bodies. And uh, and it also, I like this, uh, I like this series now uh, philosophically because it has it has to do also with the term of of um, how transparent you are, how how dirty or not you are also, you know? Right. Like, there are people, like, when we talk about politics, I think most of the politics, but not only, is dirty people. I mean, people who are do anything for money or for uh, mm -hmm. power or something like this. And I, it's for me, it's dirty. Their job is to serve the people, to serve the, uh, the people who voted for them, not only for those, for those who voted, because if they're prime minister or president, for all the people of the, of the country. And I think they are not doing their best job. So uh, you see that, and I will, I will do it also from uh, when I when I will create uh, uh, not the erotic void, but other other works because I will continue with the style. Right. Um, I will play uh, with politics also. I will try to show that there are people who are dirty, that not mm. all the part of them are transparent. So uh, I think this metaphor of transparency and uh, refraction is really nice, uh, uh, yeah. theoretically and philosophically. I think. Shall I just shall we run the film again because it made it it's really? Yeah, yeah. Of course, I see that it's uh, the the quality is a little uh, low, but okay. They, I will yeah. show. I will post it on my Insta. Will show is better and and yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, all, just, all well, well, let, let's let's run let's run the clip again and uh, yeah, yeah. people can make their own mind up about it. Beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. This way, or I, I like it when it moves because when it moves, it adds life to it. This is very beautiful the way yeah, it yeah, sits. Yeah, it's, but when it moves, it's sort of like it's alive. Yeah, well, you know the the, the motion, the v, the films, etc. They give another dimension uh, to the image. They give the dimension of time, right? Which uh, it's always uh, helpful to understand uh, what what it is about when it's um, because look. This actually, if you ask me what it was, this this is actually digital sculpture, mm -hmm. but it's digital sculpture that the environment has important as it's it's part of the work. It's right. not only the the sculpture, 
like we see in, uh, in the physical life, right. it's also the environment because it's it's based upon the theory, the the, the, the philo philosophy I, I told you. So this 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 took took some time for me, you know, because hmm. you can see that in their heads, the upper part. It's a little different than the the down part. It's right. uh, if you look, there are some yellow lines. I wanted uh, to to show that the part where the head and the ideas and the mind is, those are a very important part for me. And I believe also because it's erotic void. It's it's about right. eroticism and uh, uh, um, uh, companionship and love and uh, all those that. Uh, but before we go it, into if before we go into the next one. The, the one we were just on. Um, how many of the no, the other one? Um, there you go. How many of these will you make as a as a digital art form for somebody, or how many will you sell as a digital art? This this work. This one. This one particular. Like if someone says, "I love this piece," how many digital reproductions will there be? Well, I have uh, the, the three. I have two sizes for prints with, uh, okay. that have limited editions. One okay. has twelve. Uh, the bigger and right. uh, the bigger is 80 centimeters to 60, I think, something like that. Okay. It's got 12. And I have smaller that I produce by myself uh, that are 99 and they okay. are much cheaper. But I always have one edition of the ASEC. Right. But it's only one that is bigger and it's uh, quality production with plexiglass. It's always. Right. Um, I always say uh, this is what I call original art, the unique ones. Th those right, are right. The, the, the originals. Right, but this, this one, and we can go to the next, uh, the next. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, this one, look, and it's behind me. Yeah, this guy here behind me. I'll show you. All right, hold on a second. Let's do this. Yeah, we have this. There you go. Light. Very cool. Okay, looks like thanks. a bird. Sorry. It looks like a bird. Yeah. Oh, it's really. <laughs> yeah, it does. Well, it's, I mean, you. Look, it's the same artwork, right? It's based right, on right. the same artwork. But this is something that I haven't done for a long time. It's physical, of course. It's a right. collage. I, it's... yeah, I, I, I printed because I have a printer which is can produce A2 uh, outputs, which is like right. about sixty centimeters to forty. It's those that I sell, like the the, the prints, the limited edition, ninety nine editions. And I printed those. I took two canvases. I painted the black, and on the black uh, canvases, I start to to to. I cut the pieces because you know the lines helped me to get, cut off some pieces okay. and put them together. And with a special glue, I started to to play this. I really loved it. You cannot see uh, from here or on the image how nice it is. Yeah, it's really it looks nice, beautiful. But but I'm not going to sell this. It's a it's a test actually. But I'm just trying to tell them to let other people. I, that I you... think people. I think people would. I think someone out there would buy that. I think it's gorgeous. Yeah. Well, I'm, not I think. Because, this. I'm not selling. I'm not selling. Because it's a test. That's why people want it. <laughs> I, I'm it's not crazy. This. But I will yeah. probably do this right. uh, one artist. more time in a, in, a, in a unique in a unique canvas. Because look at the problem. You can see it in the middle. I don't like the the line. Oh, the line in the center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the in between, I should have started from there, from the line, so that. Uh, but the canvases were okay. I can put them closer a little bit, but still, it it, it distracts me from it. Right. If it was all together one piece, it will be beautiful. And I think because this is, uh, I tell you the dimension is one twenty to eighty. Wow, it's big. It, yeah, it's nice size, but I will make it bigger. I will make wow. it this one and the other the first one. We saw the red one the, with a the girl. Right. Uh, I will do them one fifty to uh, one meter. Wow, that's going to be uh, beautiful. That's I'll, a good I'll piece. do them when I when I come back from from uh, uh, Athens. And but I have to tell you that uh, I I did something that I, I, I haven't been done for a long time. I said I sat and I. I played with uh, the real thing. I mean, the, the physical, because there are many times that I sell an artwork that I don't see it because I don't produce them. They are unique. I, they are produced in, in Poland. Right. And they are from the, from. so we need to save time because uh, they need three weeks to pr produce the Diasek, the unique uh, pieces. Right. And uh, the, the client already is waiting. So that I, it cannot come to me. And then I send it. They will take one, at least two weeks more. 
Right. So we send it immediately from the producer. We always know the quality. They always send me also images and we look, we have uh, profiles that we always work and we update from time to time. They always send me back some tests if we change something. Uh, so I know how it's going to be produced, right. but I don't see them. I don't see them. And you know, it's, it's really nice to see your work. Like, I mean, because, okay, it is this digital life. We see them on the monitors, but it's a different thing to see it like this. Right. And I, I, you know, I'll tell you something. They say that uh, the metaverse and in real life, like something different, both are real life. The metaverse, right. the digital life is still real life. But it's this kind of life, you know, it's not, yeah. it's not a parallel world. It's the same world. You can be faking somebody in the, on the internet, but you can be faking somebody in the re, so-called real life. Right. And everything that happens on the internet, it's based from the real life that we know. I mean, uh, uh, cheating scams uh, or meeting people or uh, working. Yeah, a lot of people work now from the yeah. internet and it's very nice. Yeah, look at us. We're working right now from exactly. <laughs> well, uh, I, I sell artworks like this, you know. <laughs> so for us, it works out really well. So we're yeah, all so we can it. see some some close up of this because uh, when I put the the, the glue, which is um, a medium, an acrylic medium, right. it is really. It, I, I have a glossy one. It is really, really. Can can you show David the next one? It's really yeah. nice yeah. on the on the acrylic on the canvas. Also, you can see Ooh, on top pretty. left. Yeah, it's canvas, and it's and this is called mixed media actually. This mixed media is because it's totally mixed media. There is uh, 3D, uh, digital 3D. There is print making because I printed it. There is acrylic, so it's mixed mixed media. I will call them right. mixed media. Yeah. So the next time probably like you will see the the, fi the the final ones or one. I don't know how much time we'll have because I'm I'm so prolific. I finished a, a work today that we're going to see. Uh, later i'm doing right. what th this this technique i'm gonna perfect it to the top you'll see because i love it so much when you have passion with something you go to the top this is the only way you can go to the top with something to the right. maximum when you fucking love it yeah I agree. And, and it ha and it works with everything but to, to me when I, when I look at this it looks like a, a what is it shattered glass uh broken eyes uh, cam trails, uh, slow motion objects moving across the he across the heavens. Well, you know, this is it. well the black part. They actually, I I, I did it because the uh, you know it's 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 the erotic void. It's the yeah. metaphor for the void, the black. Okay. Part. Uh, that's how I thought about it for the, for the for the collages. But collages is something I really wanted to do for a long time. You know. And uh, I don't know why they didn't, because I think that there is a time that you do something, actually. You have to wait for the time. You cannot yeah, push don't it. Force things. No, don't force things. No, It'll happen. It, it, things, exactly. Things happen, exactly. For, things happen for a reason, you know? I believe so also. I believe yeah. so. And I'm going to perfect those collages as well, because I have tried also other things. They didn't work so well. I think this works quite well. It's, it's, it's really interesting. It's beautiful. All the this, well, all this, the new work, all yeah, your stuff is beautiful, and we know because yeah, we have very, one here. Which is, but which is, is very beautiful. biased. <laughs> yeah, because well, we, we like both, your stuff. Both, no, I think that enough, you are honest. Lucky I, enough I, to, I, we're lucky enough to own pieces from you, Adam. So yeah. we're, we're slightly biased, and we're, we love having you on the show, and yeah, come on. you know, and, and, and you know, and digging into all this stuff. Well, see, I guys, come on! I am good. Like I know it anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, he's like, I already know good, I'm good. You don't have to but, tell me. But so. I tell you something: the good ones don't take all the fame. The good ones they don't take the money. The promoted right. one they take. You know, right. it's like this. But this yeah. happens also for a reason, like David say. Yeah, but no, your stuff is beautiful and gorgeous, and anyone that's Thank lucky you. enough to see it or own it, that's a that's like that's a that's a mitzvah. That's a good thing. So you can, David, you can, there are also, you can see other close-ups from, oh, from the other side. Close. And here you can see because there is a part in the middle and this is the, uh, because my print, which is 60 to, uh, to 40, ended because it's much bigger. But it's, I was, I was worried about how, because no, if, if it's collage, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, distract. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't, it's collage. It's however you want to put it together. Exactly. 
well, okay, I don't want, you see the line that it's not totally perfect and sometimes I'm perfectionist, no. but you know, sometimes after, at the end, which is the down part, I started to be a little, because I knew it's not going to be a final work, it's it's a test. I started to be a little more fast. I started to be, and right. I, I played with, you know, imperfections. And I really like yeah. them also. But, but, but the, the, the two frames themselves, I mean, I mean, you can still do collages as big as the two frames. And 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 the gap between the image, the first frame and the bottom frame, could be part of the collage as well, visually. I know, yeah. but uh, in this case, I don't think I, I, I wanted this actually. Yeah. But in this case, yeah. somehow it didn't work. I don't know. I didn't. You know, there's a feeling. I think that this work, maybe in other work, it will work. But in this one, yeah. it needs a unique piece. One and and also and also, I think it needs bigger. This is yeah. one twenty. I want to do it one fifty. I want to make yeah, it I think big, this, you know? I think this one large, I mean really large, hanging on a wall. Mwah, I think it's going to be beauty. 150 this, this is, is quite This is a hotel good. lobby. This is a corporate building. No, no, my house. Behind. My house. My house entrance way. I'm not <laughs> I give a fuck about a hotel lobby. My house entrance way. So the bigger the better. Come on. Let's go with the program. So, but that's a gorgeous that's a gorgeous yeah, piece. You, you know what I mean though, Stephen? If you go into yeah. a hotel lobby and this thing's hanging there, you know, while, while you're waiting to, you know, to, to get your bags all sorted out, I mean, you're just going to drift into it. I remember we had, uh, when I first moved to The Hague, the post office in The Hague itself uh, had a complete um, uh, Escher drawings from beginning to end. They went from one but wall the to the other. Like, yeah. No, there was, just, there was, it was all, reprodu all reproduced on the walls. It must have been okay. 20 meters or 25 yeah, yeah. meters all across the whole of the back of the building. And it was just amazing, you know, when you see something that big, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, you know, you it, know something, what happens already, there are many digital artists, there is one, Refik Anadol, who's great, he's probably one, he's the most famous, right, the most trending, which, but in my opinion, I will say it because I will say he's good, but he's not that good to be shown everywhere now. He's at MoMA, he's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. He's not that good. He's he working on AI. So you can move in, you mean? Sorry? So he has to move out so you can move in. So you No, 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 I'm not saying about that. The work is perfect in, in from visual point of view. It's like uh, from a 3D guy, it's like particles coming out and it, it's it's mostly um, uh, abstract. Like colors, like moving, like waves, you know. We could do this, this and it resembles, I thought at the beginning it was 3D, but he called yeah. it AI. And it's really, really everywhere. The problem with the AI artworks, and I thought about it, is that they lack depth. They lack the, the, the depth of meaning somewhere. I mean, this work, up to now, maybe it's a sign of the times. We don't, mean, mm. mean, we don't need meaning. Okay, we don't need meaning. Mm. Then we, why, 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 why we should be living? Just uh, eat, drink, shit, and the meaning would be money, money, money. Don't work, don't yeah, do anything. Uh, just that, have that, parties, that's... girls, boys, and uh, drinks. But that's that part of it, though, like, right? That's part of what the problem like is today. Is, is that so, yeah, that's part of the problem? Is we is. don't have we don't have meaning. Yeah, we have a meaning crisis. There is a Canadian yeah. uh, philosopher who is devoting his life into this. It's his his work is called the uh, meaning crisis. Yeah. We have a problem. We don't have meaning, but you see it on the art too. And I say that the work of Rafik is really really beautiful. It's 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 very good, but it's not that good to be shown everywhere. It's like the top number one right now. No, right. no, it's it, it it lacks the meaning, and AI lacks the meaning because it is we want to work less and uh, rest to be done with something you know automated. And there is also another trend now, the generative art, which is abstract, which is totally meaningless, totally. It's it's, it's random stuff. You just put yeah. some you know numbers with code, but the the buyers are buying it. Look, I think now, but it's it's a long time before, but that the, the, the market of art has nothing to do with art. Nothing. It's right. just the market. The market. The market. I sell seen this. Right. I, I buy this. I sell this. Right. I promote this so that I can buy this in better price. And that was NFTs. And then NFTs have mm -hmm. fallen totally down. You can see that the, the prices are but totally What's down. interesting about art is if you have, like you are a better artist than the gentleman you brought up, in my opinion biased or not right my opinion you're a better artist it all belongs to who has you in what collection 
who your manager is and how you get your global publicity. And if you get that, all of a sudden you explode, so to speak, or you do something like a Banksy, right? His stuff is interesting, but does he, does it deserve to go for millions and millions? I don't personally know. I think it's very exactly. nice, but it doesn't, it doesn't for me. And um, even, even, even the, uh, the philosophy behind it is shallow. It's, it's, yeah. it's nothing. It's not, and I, his, I, think, and his, I think, I'm sorry to say, okay, I'm biased, but, but, I, but I have to defend my stand. What I right. talk to you about, about transparency, it's, it, right. it's got more depth than, and yeah. I could be talking more about it. It's not, I can put it, uh, describe it, put it in the AI, the AI will bring me an essay about it. Right. But it's, that's not the point. That's not the point. I am work, I'm doing art, okay, to live as well, but I'm right. going to live anyway. I'm going to survive anyway. Right. But uh, it's not my goal in my life to survive as a rich guy from right. art. I want my goal, at least with my profession, but art, you know, it's not actually profession. It's really, really part of you. When you're doing, right. when I was doing this, I couldn't sleep. I was my oh. eyes, maybe you can see it. My eyes, I was, you know, I couldn't see, I couldn't cut anymore, but I wanted to finish it because I had the glue. You know, you're working with stuff right. that you don't want to waste also. Right, right, right. And I say, okay, I, let's finish another part. Right. But I loved it, you know, I had passion to it and I really felt it that it, it was really, really right to do. And ideas were come, were popping up uh, in my head all the time. Oh, next right. time maybe I can do this and do this and do this. Not only from the part of um, technical, because the technical part, you will find it. You will uh, experiment and experiment. The thing is about the theoretical part, the, the, the psychology and the philosophy behind it. Right. Because if you're doing something and we have, we have created a world which the art is meaningless. Right. 50% of the, of the people are buying abstract art. Abstract art is meaningless. Okay, not all. Some have got the depth uh, of the colors, but few. We right. know it. But it's that's just the point. Color. And for example, David has a problem. He is right. a little colorblind. He's colorblind. You can't see. You, but, you the see? Other, the, but the other issue with the art, though, is it's all subjective, but yours exactly. has passion, feeling, and soul. So when someone takes... And I, and I truly believe this. When we talked about some of the shows, when I buy a piece of art and I hang it. Look, but I don't want to be misunderstood. I don't want to say I'm great and you guys are shit. No. No, I that's true. No, you, you're great. You're great. And the other no, artists no, no, are shit. No, no, no. no I, 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 that's, I, I, I think it's a good this statement. Is, this is really serious. <laughs> I'm talking okay. generally. It's, it's right. what, I, what I hope that art has a role. And artists, they play, play a role in, in the right. society. We are... We, we should see things, uh, uh, Paul Klee, a very famous Swiss painter at the beginning of 20th century, he was also a teacher at the Bauhaus, my favorite one. Uh, yeah. He was saying that artists are the trunk of the tree. They take from the soil and through them, they create the uh, leaves, the flowers, the fruits. So right. we are a kind of translators. We are observers. We need to observe the life. Not do stuff for fucking money. Okay, yeah. I understand the value and the need for money. But I also understand things that are done for money. You right. know, <laughs> it's obvious to me. But your art has the passion in it. So you see, yours is a little Many different. You do it passion, to, for, but they have to yeah, but, but some yours level of different. depth in the work. Right. We need more depth in our lives. Yeah. We have yeah. to understand it. But most people don't, and that's the issue. So, so like well, the artist that we were speaking you know about what before, I hate. they don't. I really, huh. I, 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 I'm getting furious because when I'm, I'm going to Twitter and those guys that the new artists that came up with NFTs and now with the right. AI, they are, most of them they are saying of the statement the same thing. I am uh, creating AI so that uh, to show or to uh, to gap the. Uh, the digital, the metaverse with the real right. world, or the worst for me is that the symbiosis between the machine and the uh, humans. What right. kind of symbiosis does the machine leaves? It doesn't right. leave. Right. It's not alive. What's what symbiosis? Symbiosis is a Greek word. It means living, yep. living together, co-living. Co you know, really. they are they are saying things without understanding what they are saying. That's because most people don't think about what they say, A, and B, most we people are, are uneducated. sheep and they don't do it. We are uneducated. Yeah. Yeah. We, are, we have created a, a society of uneducated people. 
Yeah, morons. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Full stop. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why that's why they are voting for things and doing things that we see. Yeah. But we hope because that they don't people think that are anymore. listening listening and watching this show will uh, that you know give really give people something to think about. That, that is that's what we're can... aiming to. Guys, that's I'm sorry that do, sometimes yeah. I am, you know, like exploding. We love it. No, but we I, want I you to be like that. For it, you know? yeah. we, that's yeah, we know, what I'm we saying. Know. Your art has passion. We know you have, have passion. I have passion as a person, you know. Yeah, I know, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's this good. Is probably, like this, is, this is probably the last the last one of the collage, yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, and so... We... So after this one, we have, a, we have a, uh, a movie, which nobody has seen, a little clip. But we also have um, a special piece of art, uh, which we're going to be producing uh, pieces of merchandising from. Oh, very uh, cool! All of all of which will be limited edition, so there'll only be two hundred and fifty of each size that will be made if it's made in various okay. different sizes. And it, I, I love this. I, I, you know, I. Yeah, this I, one's phenomenal. I like this one. Yeah, I, I, I just loved it because it just it, it, yeah. <laughs> It's an old work. It's from 2012. Okay. It's called The Headache. And yeah, it's what definitely. I said, that uh, I w we want, we want uh, for the viewer to create them headaches, but for a good reason, so that they right. say, oh, what they, the guys are trying to tell us. Maybe they are trying to tell yeah. us something interesting, something more deep than usual. Well, I, I but didn't know what it was called because I didn't look at it. But it was, so for me, it just lo it looks like one of my brain farts. It just, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, but it also know. it can have also exactly different interpretations. So that's why yeah. I, I chose the, this. And this work is our work here on the, it's the work of the show. So we're gonna use it uh, already on mugs, on t-shirts, on bags, right? Maybe. Yeah, bags. There's a whole that's load gorgeous. of stuff coming out. But um, yeah. I only ha only had it today, and I've got. Uh, I think Vicky's gonna help us. Vicky from Social Intercourse is a, a fabulous gra uh, graphic artist. I'm hoping she's going to help, um, you know, produce some bits and pieces because that's not really my forte. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get as much stuff into the merch sh sh shop as we can. So, and you'd be, be, able to, be able to click either to click on your name or to click on the name of the show, and it should take them straight through to the merchandise connected to this. Yeah. So, uh, and the links, and you of can course, see the broadcast that we are. Yeah, links will be below. Exactly, and also, and also for for uh, I still do it, but for a very very long time, all my uh, models had closed eyes, and this is because uh, okay. you know to, to think deeper, you need uh, at, at a point you need to close your eyes, don't look only from the visual and shallow part of the reality, and try to think deeper because. Uh, since uh, the universe, God, or ho however we call the big guy, the, the guy that we all belong to, has given us the ability to think deeper because we know the depth in, uh, exists. I mean, the depth, the uh, mental depth, right? Since right. it exists, we should go for it, guys. Come on. I agree. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, like I say, it, it wasn't a headache for me, this one. It was definitely definitely my brain fart. When I looked at it, I thought... Yeah, it can uh, be brain, it's, but you see it's bro broadcasting. It's, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what happens to me. I just, they just, I have an idea and it consumes me, and then uh, you know, and, and it washes over me as well. So, yeah, that this there one just is is very beautiful. In fact, this is actually going to be the shot we use to promote the show this week because right. this is gorgeous. This is what people yeah. need to see, not our faces. Yeah. But this is gorgeous. No, 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 no. Our faces oh, we've got too, what we are good-looking guys. Come on. Well, I that's think, true, uh, but you know. Well, thank you. Um, uh, I think just as sort of uh, rolling into the to the last very last section, the, the autumn the autumn beams of the show, yes. autumn lights of the show. We have a one called "Dance Under the Orange Sun," which literally was still uh, steaming so hot off the press it was when you sent the email to me, and we just <laughs> managed to get it onto the show. Um, I don't even know, Adam, if you've watched it more than a couple of times since you made it. So this really is something really quite new and exciting. It's totally new. It's a it's few minutes before we, we <laughs> opened right. the show. I yeah. just created it. Yeah. But it's and on the same movie, style. Is this a movie or is, is, this a, it, is it a video or is it a painting? It's a yeah, video. It's a, it's a little, oh, clip, cool. little clip again. So what we'll do is we'll run the clip. We'll go through a few things with you and we'll run the clip again just so people have a chance to, to see it. So this is Dance Under the Orange Sun.
very cool. Yeah, the well, same music, it's genetic music for me. Uh, it's a very yeah. cool piece. It's a very cool piece. I like that. This, piece. this, that this, this. I, I've implemented something different uh, that there isn't in the other. And this is not erotic void. Uh, although, although you know, eroticism does not exist only between two people. It exists in general. If you have passion mm. to something, it's erotic. Right. If you love doing something, there is uh, an erotic relationship with it. That's what I mean when I call passion. Right. Either it's passion for life, even it's passion for a person, a friend, uh, or even even sometimes an uh, an object or something. Mm -hmm. People uh, collect things like uh, stamps or coins or cars or whatever. They love them. They have an erotic relationship with it. But it's not going to be in this series, this one. Yeah. This is probably the, the one that I said that the uh, bodies of refraction. Right. So it's, it's kind to, of refractography in a way. Can but we go to a white screen, Stephen, so we're not on this one and I'll run it again? because it's. Uh... We can go to, we can try. I, I had it on the screen, but it, we ran it into us. So sorry about that, everybody. Yeah, okay. So, try it again. Okay, we'll just see what happens. Yeah, and the, this Beautiful. one, for example, you can see that uh, there are lines, but there are no lines on the background. Right. I have yeah. taken them off from is she Is she revolving around the globe, or is that uh, orange globe revolving around her? Oh, um, she is actually. Well, technically, she is uh, turning around. Uh, but uh, I wanted to say something that I forgot. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, there's yeah, so like, much you know to, to to talk about the, these, the, right. the, this this series. It's it's really really nice. I'm is this, is I'm this really digging first, this. Is this a new series? This one? Yeah, well, it's one. it's they belong everything that we've seen here except the one for the for for, for the show. Yeah, because it's old one. Oh yeah, this, that's one that's one, one technique, one the same uh, philosophy behind because the the it's refracted bodies. Uh, yeah. I have tried also. More uh, abstract stuff, and I think by the by the time uh, abstract uh, things will also come up, uh, also animation and also prints. But with abstract, I'm a little um, uh, uh, n not sure yet. You know, it's um, right. I'm reluctant with that. It's I I I I'm in between. I like to show something abstract. You know, it's totally. Everybody can interpret it totally in any kind of uh, uh, of way. For me, it's it's kind of an easy way, you know, to to create artwork. I, I'm not saying that the abstract art is. Please don't say it. it's it's different kind of form of art. And uh, and again, I'm I'm saying again that I'm not downgrading and not saying nothing about about the artist. The artist should do what they want. Right. I'm just saying that we need more depth and meaning into our lives and as artists we need to help with that so uh, this is the i'm close well, well, I'm, sure, I'm sure that there, there may be some people looking at your work and they feel that it's abstract as well oh it's um, not because abstract because abstract because art is it's abstract it's that uh, you cannot even see forms of of a body yeah. you know it's yeah. uh oh, no, the, way, the way that you sometimes they are semi-abstract those are semi-abstracts yeah. a little yeah, because there is uh, there is a body, there is uh, the orange sun, uh, but if the name didn't point to it, maybe somebody would th think it's something else, like a globe yeah. you said or something else. It's but it's still uh, they're, they're open to, for interpretation. And I'm open for comments in my social or here. Mm. Uh, what they see if they see something else, yeah. I have changed the view of my works because some people have told me things about them really right. because i tell you there are there are i've told it in other shows that there are forces in us in everybody of us that work 
without our consent and without our choosing to to, right. to 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 have them because it's a voice of nature we are products mm -hmm. of nature nature is using us we are using our bodies the bodies die right the bodies and the identity die the essence doesn't die that's why i said yes and no at the beginning right. Well, the good thing is, is your art will live forever, and that's the important yeah. thing. It's yeah, and, and the same stuff. the same happens with the artworks. You see, there are yeah. ma metaphors and patterns everywhere. Even artwork has a depth. It's like a human. There are humans which depth, which ed education right. that they 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 impress us with a kindness, with the depth of their personality. Education. Right. They have a lot of things to say. They open your mind. They intrigue you. They they are becoming, uh, you know, inspiration to others. Right. It's always for us the arts when we have uh, interviews. The first question is, "What's your inspiration?" Right. It's important thing, you know. Where does imp inspiration come from? It comes from depth. The depth right. is inspirational always, because we are looking for depth or our lives. Of of course, uh, we need first to survive. Right. But look, as we can see the evolution of our species. We mm -hmm. have managed to survive, and now we can watch films, uh, have parties, uh, make art, you know, play, mm -hmm. all those stuff. And now we have created AI, and hopefully AI will do all the work, and right. we will only enjoy and get depth. Under, more depth. Uh, give more understanding of our nature, right. and, you know, uh, evolve it. Yeah. Because nature wants this from yeah. us. It's our duty. You know, I believe that. Do you know what's, do you know what's going to uh, evolve next, uh, gentlemen? The end of the show. Yeah. <laughs> the end of the show. Oh, we had a full show today. Talking we had a great show. show Every show with you we was great. So, great. Yeah. so yeah. before. Sometimes, sometimes we let it roll on like today. So, uh, so before yeah. we before we say goodbye, a couple of things. One, you can see the link for the merch is below. Two, this is a world premiere of art that no one's seen yet. So on the live show, it'll be rebroadcasted in a couple of days. So by the time it was rebroadcasted, it may not be a world premiere, but it's still stuff you haven't seen. Don't forget to subscribe and like. You can catch Adam on Instagram, on Facebook, or you can catch him here. We will be back for all the people in America in a fortnight. For everyone in Europe and the a rest of the planet, you know what Steven. that means. A I know. We're back in a even. fortnight. We're back in a fortnight. So once again, everybody in America, look it up. Um, so, yeah. but we will be back, be, and Adam will be, be the back. name of our new show. That I think we're back in the fortnight. Also, we're back in the fortnight. Yeah, very good. Adam, as always, it's a pleasure. Fascinating. Love the work. All of it. Thank you Absolutely much, gorgeous. Yeah, and we're your biggest fan. So love it and yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> keep doing keep doing it. You're biased, so. but it's okay. Hey, bias biased. is okay. We're all we're biased. All biased. Yeah. Oh, oh. Good, day. Good okay. to have well, friends okay. like us to be biased. <laughs> yeah. Gentlemen, have a yes. great day. We'll see you bye bye. very soon. All right. Cheers.